What I'm doing is just doing a quick uh, screen sharing to address the issues of training and the things that have uh, been, been put in place to make this a technology business community and a whole lot more uh, beyond this um, uh, sustainability and um, uh, ecology. Uh, you know, the reality of it is we live in a modern 21st century um, and it's all about just you know, skills and talents. So. Uh, one thing I'm, you know, I'm about, and, and that's what I started uh, 15 years ago as an uh, own technical service support uh, consultation business. And uh, the goal is always to be able to build a business community where you have a building and you're literally just recruiting the best of, you know, us, um, those of us that are in the community, you know, and everything is all age. Uh, and the same thing uh, outside of the, um, the actual physical community that we actually build in. Uh, more so in the town and uh, and the orphanage, uh, to, you know, reach out to more of our, and then just create an, an elite, this technical um, uh, education system to where we're learning and training on everything and we're documenting everything to where we're, we're going from building homes to setting up these technical systems to being able to organize our own uh, internet source, um, catch water system, boreholes, and so on. Uh, and, and, and more so we begin to be the providers of technical and business services and things like that. So um, everything has to be where we're using more of our resources. And I understand some people that are coming to retire may, you know, may say that they, they're not coming to do the heavy work of certain things. It's absolutely fine. So if people want to do training and things like that, it's a, a situation where you can just do continuous operation of that. And for those who want to market themselves online as far as what we're building and be able to just create a business on that, we just have to look at all options and things. So uh, training is uh, definitely fund fundamentals. And as, as we build phase one and work towards building phase two, we become more proficient in it to where we begin to outsource our services and expand. Uh, so um, the idea of uh, getting land from the ground up and being able to carve it out and build it from the scratch up literally teaches you all of the, the foundations of actually to build a nation uh, you hear a lot of people talk a lot of you know, things and it's like they miss the foundation of what all the things you have to put in place. So the fact that, you know, we're a big group and we're spreading out in committee, committees, that give us the, the, the flow of energy to just work on different things. And um, as those of us looking to do more business, um, uh, once we just expand out and people who just do this kind of business, we put ourselves together as a, you know, literally just an enterprise where you're competing in a world-class view as far as, uh, you know, a, a technical operation where you provide different uh, technical service support. And I'm showcasing my website because uh, this is something that I built in 2005 and I've just worked in this more in a private uh, situation where I just do business with certain people. And you know, going to Africa literally just expands our business. So when you tell individuals about creating business plans, about starting business, setting things up, and then putting everything online, it's where you can literally take advantage of the online market, but also expand to the local market, uh, more so a technical service and support of being able to dispatch a group of technicians and people to local areas. And as the area that we're moving to, honestly, it's a development that's coming within the next five years. That area is gonna be more popular than people can imagine. Uh, uh, I'm talking about the greater Winneba area, um, you know, especially in the, the, the five mile district where it's just not as developed as the other parts going to Cape Coast or Accra. Uh, so you're putting yourself in a, in a place where you can enterprise um, and, you know, I mean, literally globally. Uh, so uh, training is the fundamental and that's one of the things that we're gonna specialize in. And uh, you know, I have a whole lot of experience in that aspect. And that's what I was also telling any, anyone that while you're working on any projects and you have any things that you need to be clear, explain or fix or done, you know, I can just remotely connect into your computer. I can get you on the phone and I can just work on things for you. So all those skills and talents that we all have, we're literally just educating our own to the highest level to where you're beginning to teach uh, teenagers professional skills to where they can compete in the high level of the, the world market. And it, you, know, it sound, you know, it sounds nice and simple, but uh, you know, it's practicing and practicing and practicing. The, the issue of our modern day society is that you know, the school system needs to be completely there's reform. It needs to be just like shredded like you shred trash or a piece of paper in the office that you're just trying to get rid of. And then reform to where you're teaching 
the survival skills and how to become a great enterprise as a people um, and be, be able to just do corporate economics to your finest. To where you're going from a society where you're literally being um, just dominated in an area where you're forced to be consumers. Like when we look at our power bill, our elect, um, internet bill, water bill, gas bill, and so on, it's like an act of this, this oppression where you literally just, you know, just putting yourself in, your, you're sucking unnecessary income from people and you're doing it just because you can. So all the things that we're literally trying to do is all in inclusive in our community for us to just literally get the, the job done and make the situation work. And uh, honestly, it's that simple. So anybody who's worried about training or want a job or whatever, uh, we, you know, we're going to set up all, all kind of companies where we just work for each other and we'll figure things out to where, you know, we even build our own credit union system. And uh, this is 100% of just taking advantage of corporate economics as no others, uh, that, you know, as something that we would love to do in America, but we obviously see that we can't because it becomes to just be a situation where uh, even some of our own brothers and sisters we have to cast out because they, they, they you know, because we, you know, we need more of a righteous spirit of people to flow with. So it becomes a complicated situation, but um, a light energy of just us keeping our flow of what we're doing private. So we can just come together, similar minds, people, and also just work different angles and literally accelerate getting this community done. It's just unbelievable how, you know, like I've talked about previous groups like Garvitan and Fianca, how they literally just talked a bunch of stuff and literally just didn't put the work in to lay things out and get to it. But all of us, when we combine on our skills and our resources, we have this, uh, you know, figured out and literally, you know, like I mentioned, the land is clear and people are moving there. So we're literally working on getting like a whole lot of things done consistently. And, in, in, you know, so um, once we start hit the ground, family, make sure you bring your camera, camcorders, your phone, uh, record every aspect of what you're doing, upload, share, organize it in presentation. And we're going to literally just build a, a mindset of this, how we can organize ourselves in Africa because sometimes we have to be that example. And uh, sometimes people don't understand us, it's that simple. And that's why we have, you know, the criteria for overview and bylaws to where it only is gonna fit certain people, but it fits enough people to where we can just move strong. So family, anybody else that have any business or anything that they wanna share? And, and also, that, you know, we're gonna make sure that we create a nice corporate setting to where you can have a storefront inside a community that we're gonna expand in. And then for those who wanna do certain things more related to internally in the community, um, or just use certain space, uh, we'll have in you know, a different business center. And together we'll just focus on this, making it to where we're not limited in anything. And, and one of the most important thing is, uh, as far as uh, what Chaz was talking about, one of the things is, um, since we have a good number of group, um, I even reached out to Kwabana in the past with Garvey Town, we literally get a tower built. Um, and that's based on uh, the residency uh, energy of people that's moving in, in that area. And we'll be able to have better internet and also better phone communication. Uh, so that was, that's one aspect of uh, our, our technology. So um, as we begin, begin to craft everything out, um, uh, professionals and other people will be available. And um, the main thing I want us to focus on is when we have other people come in and they're doing things, we're there to learn and then we're there to teach each other. Uh, so certain things we do have to, uh, we're not, we're not saying that we're just going to do everything on our own. But it's to also empower ourselves as a people. Um, a lot of times uh, we're not participating in how things are built and done, and we think things are difficult. So, with the flow of how we can teach each other, um, as far as this, you know, we, that's the purpose of having that educational building. Uh, it's more from the school ages for also technical training, and um, it'll, it'll more come together once we start putting the graph of these things up. But I want everyone to consider this. Um, make sure that um, you put yourself in proper organization and, uh, you know, websites are important to create. Uh, also, just being able to do more scientific research as I begin to switch from this presentation to show us more on, like, even... Um, let me get this out the way. Uh, this presentation where we're doing a whole business plan for the community and also creating the financial uh, organization uh, for it. So anything that we feel like we don't know, uh, honestly, it's all about us doing uh, scientific research. And as you can see in several other presentations, individuals got together, they 
went to the research on, and put the work in. And that's what I'm saying. If anybody tells you that and, and make a bunch of excuses uh, that's been given a free land, because we have to honestly think about this. I'm not trying to insult anyone uh, or insult a bunch of people, but the chiefs in Africa have been given black folks and that's for the free land for the last uh, few decades. And it's something that after a period of time, most of us have known about it for you know, a few, uh, but literally those things have been put out there. So you ask yourself, why are we not building communities if the land is free? We just went through a whole process of actually paying for the land. And some people were given th that land for literally free to nothing. And, um, and they're, you know, and then, so they have a lot of people that's attracted to going and doing business with them, but they fail to organize themselves as a business community and organize themselves into a way where we as a people can come together and figure out what we have to figure out and be the influence of what we want. Uh, so people begin to th think that, oh, this is what we want and so on. So letting everyone know this piece, structure your report, uh, just type it up in Word and you can save it as a PDF. This is a PDF online from, um, you know, from my actual hard drive on my computer. Um, and all those things are things that I can show individuals. So when you're even doing a presentation, you load up all your files on your browser and you then click from one point to the next, like I just did. And... I'm going to scroll down uh, past this presentation to, all right, a summary. And this is something, you know, like it's on PDF, I can post on the group page and you can click on it, uh, download it. And once you, it's posted on the group page, you can always have access to it by clicking on the top of uh, a WhatsApp group page and you'll see all of the, any kind of pictures, videos, PDF files, links, and, um, you know, anything of that nature as far as documentation. Um, and PDFs are easy to download, share, and so on. But this is the basic template of a table of content for our just our complete economic uh, as I titled uh, more of a comprehensive uh, business plan for development. And once we get more input from different people, we're going to put it together strong and create something to where once we begin to expand and we want to really uh, do business with certain people, we have presentations ready. We have things that we're showing individuals that we're serious about structuring reports and research. And then we're also showing the ground impact of the work that we're doing. What is this? Okay. All right, uh, so uh, company description, organization, leadership summary, mission, vision, market analysis, marketing strategy, development strategy, planning strategies, economic strategies, and uh, ultimately manufacturing plans. Uh, because what you have to go from is become a, a manufacturing uh, power uh, in Africa to where we're coming together, putting our resources together, and we're building the factories that we need to do business and do more internal trades with each other. So um, one of the issues is you have a whole lot of Indian and uh, Chinese or just Asian in general uh, business uh, that are there and they're creating these, um, what I call uh, uh, sweatshops of modern day slave markets where, you know, you know whether it's a resort or just a factory, uh, they literally just get whatever for pennies on the dollar, they build a manufacturing plant and then they just build it to where they're not trying to build corporate economics or build nation building. They're literally building it to recruit our people to work f for nothing and it's not building what we need to build. So these things begin to happen when we stay here in the luxury of America and just and enjoy um, fighting for social justice and this uh, this not focusing on the biggest um, um, you know the the biggest things at stake, which is African continent, to where opportunities are being taken that we can also take advantage of us. Uh, but you know, in order for us to do that, we have to show you know that we're serious. So. The fact that many of us have been given free land and have not developed it is the fact of them not stepping up and doing their work because we have a whole lot of uh, population of black people in diaspora and I understand maybe about 95% will have nothing to do with what we're talking about or be completely confused. But you do, you know, but the more you can organize yourself and present yourself, the better you can actually reach out to people. And it's a journey. I, I remember this starting that first journey from being 26 in uh, 2004. Um, uh, this traveling to the first African country, uh, Senegal, and also talking about meetings uh, as far as us coming together, build a community, uh, and, and and so on. Um, 
and then this you know just traveling over the years and you literally just have to just put the work in and you know there's people out there as we as begin to be a group of 65 people so we see that we can uh, structure ourselves and it took work for us to get to this you know part because a year ago uh, when we fired Garvey Town, there was 20 something of us and we we're triple our group size to 60 something so um, people complain that they can't find people to do this they can't find people to do that but what is their level of being serious and level of being organized and you'll see that's the difference maker you would even see people make youtube videos about them getting caught up into all kind of drama and i've been there with, with in, in tours where you take people to to ghana and they just run off and they meet people that sweet talk them and tell them lies and then next thing you know they lose out on money to certain things so i tell people you know when we're doing business you're going to work for the money and you can do the right thing and we're going to keep you accountable and that's how we're going to have to you know move but if we begin to just not have an organized plan and you know using strength in numbers is you know, one of the, the tactics that we have um you know to where we can you know where we can begin to have more people there that's going to live around you know the community and be there to just represent so you, you tell people uh stop uh, blaming their shortfalls on on other people and take accountability and put the work in and it's just that simple it's not uh difficult so we're going to be an, an example of how we can pull this off and that's why i, I made sure that you connect with the the most important people that we're connected with because during the shutdown our lawyer and our consultant were in Ghana working on what they need to work on and letting people know that let's not continue to find ways of just making excuses of things being obstacles in the way uh, the issue is you being unorganized issues is that we need to learn business management business professionalism learn how to use all these technical gadgets that we have you know from video calling to computer system and so on and understand that for those who don't understand any of these things I understand that I feel like I'm talking a foreign language. I tell people that's what I do for a living in the company I just showed you. We're able to train and educate all of us. Uh, people are traveling me. We're doing visas and going through certain processes. They get caught up into confusion and things. And I tell them, hey, I have a unique, simple, easy way for us to let's go to it to where you can learn of it because we have to begin to educate ourselves in all bases of things. If you want to be completely free, we have to be able to just say, hey, we're going to do everything on our own. So. The company that we're setting up is in Ghana. Everything is being set up is in Ghana. Uh, that way we can rightfully just escape what we're trying to escape and just be completely free based on the, the, the company that we set up and us being a part of an independent entity. Uh, so um, that's what I'm trying to organize our energy for us to transform into. Uh, that way we can just be ready and honestly make a, you know make a move without uh, coming up with any excuses. So. This plan is very detailed and I did show it in the two committees that I'm organizing, which is um, business and professional affairs and also um, uh, planning and development. And uh, that's uh, one part that I have in a quick overview. But what I wanna do, uh, because it's getting very late, uh, I wanna find out if anyone have any questions on, on anything and I'm going to also flip through a few different slides. Uh, just unmute yourself, ask a question.